Hey, this is Taylor from Count, and in this video I am going to be talking all about one of my favorite ways to use Account Canvas, and that is for data modeling. So if you are a data engineer, analytics engineer, somebody who's just living in DBT models day in and day out, or even someone that is creating and maintaining views in your database, then this is a video for you. So uh, we can see, first off, that we are in a Canvas. We've got a data menu on the left-hand side design bar over here, and I've gone ahead and pasted a query into a SQL cell. Now if we zoom in and take a closer look at this query here, you can see we've got quite a few CGEs, quite a lot going on, and we've got a nice table of results here. Now this query came from a DBT model. This is a compiled SQL that I've just copied out of DBT and pasted it into here, and we can see we've got our results back. Now in this case, somebody from the business has come to us and said, hey, I think there's something wrong with this table. The numbers don't quite look right. So, always a fun task to start investigating uh, requests like that. Now, normally what we'd have to do at this point is we would have to break down, take these CTEs, copy and paste them into an IDE and start to understand them one by one. Now, that's really painful part of the process. And with Count, one of the things that we've built recently is a way to supercharge that process. So, we have this function here called exploding cells. So, when you have a query like this with lots of CTEs, very complex logic, you can hit this button and we'll break down that query into its component cells. What that means is each of those CTEs now has its own cell here and we're running the results of those CTEs so you can visualize them in the context of the larger model. Not only that, but now we can zoom out and see overall what this model actually looks like. What is the shape of it? We can start to see things that might be important, like this node feels very important because it's merging lots of things together. This is our endpoint here. Now that means we can start doing stuff like, you know, adding comments here, base tables. We can make notes to ourselves so that we make sure we understand what actually is happening here. Because this is an interactive whiteboard, we can do whatever we want to these cells. We can circle stuff, we can draw on it, we can add comments. Uh, we could even duplicate this whole DAG and paste next to it, which we'll get to a bit more in a minute. But one of the other benefits of having this DAG like this, instead of working in one single query, is that we can start to interrogate the cells one by one. So let's say we've got this node cell here, which we said is probably pretty important because it's kind of like a, seems to be a hub of this model. And let's say I just want to understand some of these values in here. And I want to know, you know, if there's are there dates that we're missing or that kind of stuff. So we can come in here and just go, okay, what is the created that date? What genders are included? And what's that breakdown? we can even add a cell to get how many rows we have. Uh, so we can go ahead in here and say, move myself out of the way here. And we just want another count. We now have a row count that we can keep tabs on as we move, move across. And we can see how this might change as we move forward. So again, that's one way that breaking things down like this is going to make your life a lot easier. So not just switching back and forth between your between DBT or wherever your model lives and wherever you can actually execute those queries. Now the second thing we can do is we can parameterize this. So let's say we wanted to, again, maybe we want to do it here. Maybe we want to add a date filter. And we only want to look at the last month. Maybe that's where we think the problem is. So we can come in here and we can add a control cell, which is basically how we parameterize our queries. And I can call this start date, and I want to make this probably just a relative date, I think so, just one month ago. And we just connect this up. And now we can see how all the downstream cells are updating, our row numbers are updated, our, our graphs here, everything else is updated to reflect this parameter here. Now we can take that even further, like I kind of alluded to earlier, is I can take this whole DAG and I can copy and paste it, put it right next to it, and maybe I want to compare one month ago to one week ago. And now I can compare these results side by side and see how these models are different from where things are coming across. And the last thing I want to show is, so first of all, you can always continue with this. If you do want to create outputs or things like this as a result of this model, then you have templates, and there's some other videos that go through a little bit more about how to share analysis and build up reporting and that kind of stuff. But for this use case in particular, usually where this ends up is you want to make some tweaks. Maybe you want to 
edit the logic here and you want to put that back into your model. So the way that you would do that is whatever node you have, that's going to be your end table. If you right click that and hit copy compiled SQL, that means you can take that SQL and you can put it back into your, into your database, into DBT, wherever it needs to go. And this is just going to run just like it would anywhere else. And so you can take that logic that you've just built and you can move it somewhere else. And of course you can version, all this is version controlled for you. You can add comments, you can bring people in to share and discuss these models. So when you do want to make those changes and you want to talk about why you did it, you've got your handy state sticky notes here. You've got your, you know, you can have version A, version B to discuss and all that's in here for you. So anyway, that is, that is it for today. I hope that you guys are excited about data modeling in Canvas as I am. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. All right, see you guys.